So quick game press tutorial looking at um, some of the features that could help in a maths or physics type classroom. So I've got a little character here that I've been working on with my game and what we can start to explore a little bit when we press on our player are some of these um, elements down the side, the passable grip, bounce and mass. So normally with this sort of platform game I might have a jump um, controller but we can actually play around with uh, the bounce for example so if I put in here say um, 80 um, enter that um, then we can play and we can start to really teach kids about um, uh, inertia and, and, and bounce and the mass and we can play around with it so if I actually play that game now what we've got here you can see him bouncing a little bit I've got no jump button and actually I'm just trying to work out how do I actually get up to that next level and you can see I didn't make it there so I'll press on my guy again and I can actually increase that bounce to say a hundred and maybe reduce my mass a little bit too and you can talk to your kids about uh, what that might mean so I'm going to press play there and see how I went you can see I'm bouncing a little bit more here and then I'm bouncing up and you can see how that was just enough in regard to it. Um, so some little features there in regard to bounce that you could actually um, include uh, with your character. So that was once again just pressing on your character and starting to explore some of those thin things like grip, bounce, mass and how to teach kids about some of those elements of physics that you can incorporate into your game design. And this can start from primary school and develop right through to high school.